You've got a really incredible neuro formula that I also love. Let's talk about that one. Sure. So neuro, I developed for two reasons. One, because living in mold gave me horrible brain fog and pretty much all the ingredients, the naturopathic ones at least, that I used while there were my life jackets to make sure my brain actually worked when I had to work and when I had to do podcasts while I still had ridiculously high levels of mycotoxin in my body. Kind of just like caffeinate yourself and push through, take a little methylene blue and you can make it work. Or- <laughs> I know that well. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also the other reason is my my opa being Dutch, my granddad, he died of dementia. So it's pretty near and dear to my heart. Um, that condition, seeing how horrible it was and how he just wasted away and lost himself. Uh, my father started to develop memory issues and re- repeating himself. And I'm like, oh, I need to do something about this as quickly as possible. I'm going to support his brain health. I'm not going to target dementia. But like when you look at all of the things that go into it, they might, they call dementia type three diabetes. So like you're going to look at metabolic syndrome, you're going to support mitochondria and glucose disposal, healthy insulin levels. So cleaning up his diet and using things like berberine or dihydroberberine, um, supporting anti-inflammatory, using anti-inflammatories that can actually get in your brain. Like PEA is an amazing anti-inflammatory that has an affinity for fatty tissues, i.e. your heart. So it helps people with heart inflammation, which may or may not be pretty prevalent from things that have come out in the past. And neuroinflammation, which is a big problem at the moment, because when gut health is compromised, like it is in so many people, you don't just have a gut barrier, you have a blood brain barrier too, which is equally susceptible to zonulin, which is one of the primary drivers of hyperpermeability. That can cause permeability of the brain. And then all of the toxins that are getting through your permeable gut, like lipopolysaccharides, endotoxins, can then go into your brain and cause deep neuroinflammation. And that's what I dealt with. And I know that's what Dave Asprey dealt with and what basically sparked his whole journey into biohacking and to bulletproof, bringing his brain back from, I think he's claimed that on a brain scan, it showed severe brain damage and he had like an eight year old's brain from mold. Well. Probably not as bad as Dave, but I still had that happening. I had mold colonized my sinuses. So between the, in the sinus cavity, pretty much trickling directly into my brain. I had mold toxin going in there until I managed to clear it out with sinus flushes and um, grapefruit seed extracts and all the other things that you can do. Even a little bit of knack in a sinus cleanse, which I recommend you do very cautiously because it burns, but... um, (laughs) Yes, I've nebulized that. It's painful. (laughs) Yes, exactly right. But yeah, neuro is my attempt to A, bring my brain back, restore any potential brain damage, which probably occurred from being in three years of mold, and then to help my dad out. And um, again, using the naturopathics, Lion's Mane, BDNF Booster, um, Go to Cola, Ginkgo, um, Bacopa, all blood flow enhancers help get oxygen and nutrient delivery to the brain and waste removal use a bit of dihydroberberine to stabilize the blood sugar. And where I, what I love doing, my biggest passion is finding ingredients that work better than what the mainstream are aware of. Like NAC has gained a lot of popularity for good reason. It's the precursor to glutathione. But there are other forms of NACs. There's also forms that are sort of downstream of NAC converting through to glutathione. You can use NACET, which is an ethyl ester form of NAC that has substantially better bioavailability and it's also capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier to include increasing glutathione levels in the brain. It's often called NeuroNAC. Um, the other one you can use is GGC, which is on the three steps of conversion through to glutathione, the middle step, NAC being the first, GGC is the second, and then it just converts directly through to glutathione. I like the precursors more than I do glutathione unless it's like a really good quality liposomal one, which Mm -hmm. can have some effects. But I find the precursors better at increasing glutathione levels than taking it. Um, So yeah, including NACET in the neuro formula was pretty important and terastilbene, two really good antioxidants, anti-inflammatories for your brain to help with that neuroinflammatory cascade that I believe is probably one of the few causative reasons why neurodegeneration occurs and then sort of rectifying it with the peptides. Again, we come back to combine the naturopathics with the powerful modern scientific cutting edge peptides like Dihexa, like P21 and CMAX. All of these peptides have been shown in animal studies granted, hopefully the human studies come, to increase BDNF, increase NGF, nerve growth factor. These peptides 
work on so many different growth factor cascades that all ultimately result in improved brain function. And that's why I love this product. But one thing that I need to caveat is when you boost BDNF, some people, especially when they like lion's mane, people might say this, for example, they get a little bit brain foggy from it. Because when you boost BDNF, it actually is quite a metabolically taxing process to grow new neurons or to remyelinate or to or uh, to undergo neuroplasticity. So you do end up with a little bit of um, inflammation from that. So by using the things like the NASET, the terastilbenes, the ginkgos and bacopa, you're sort of quenching those that um, inflammation that can occur when you really push BDNF. But my personal anecdotal experience having used it is every time I'm on it, it's like increased mental focus, increased verbal fluency, um, and also skill acquisition. That's a big thing that BDNF is beneficial for. Uh, when you're young, your BDNF levels are much higher than when you're older. I think before you're seven, it's ridiculously high. That's why kids just pick up everything straight away. And like learning a new language is so much easier when you're younger than seven than it is when you're older. But since taking it, I've managed to, and this is like a chicken or an egg thing. Did I start to do these things because I knew when I took dihexa and p21 that i needed to probably get the benefits by learning a skill but i've managed to pick up piano not great but i'm starting to learn that and it's finding it pretty easy um, i've managed to learn how to serve a tennis ball and i'm getting significantly better at basketball just like obviously if you practice things you get better but i'm finding comparative to when i did all those things before it's much easier for me now because of that bdnf boost and from my understanding, you do need to actively work on skill acquisition when you're boosting it too. So that's what I've been doing and liking.